Well, it didn't last long. I noticed the truck was getting hot. I was starting to get concerned. Couldn't quite figure out why it was getting hot. And then I pulled over because I'm like, I gotta check this out. And that heater hose split and was just spewing water everywhere. Um, so I gotta let it cool down. Tyson's bringing me a hose to replace that hose and then we'll fill it back up with water and we should be good to go. Headed to Rotowana. Cross your fingers, no more issues. <laughs> At least that was an easy one. stopping me down this hill. Sorry for the glitchy camera. Can't do so many things at once. I can't set it on manual. I'm sorry. We're here though. We're here. We made it. Woo. All right, so uh, Turk, Forsberg, uh, Donut Media, and BC were all here. So they want me to pit here with BC. The only problem is my truck and trailer won't fit here and I gotta sleep in the truck. So I'm gonna go scout around for spots to sleep essentially like just a spot to park that stuff and I can pit bike back and forth but the weather is phenomenal the weather is great it should be like in the 60s in the evening which is perfect for camping it's gonna be like the best camping weather I've ever had uh, the trucks brakes are terrible absolutely terrible like coming down the hill into here I didn't think I was gonna be able to stop in time so that was kind of traumatic uh, need to either get trailer brakes or figure out the trucks brakes uh, and I have an ATF week uh, but yeah, it drove, it drove okay here. It did decent. All right, good morning. Uh, whopping like three hours of sleep last night. Me and Alan both drank like a coffee on the way here. Couldn't sleep, so we stayed up talking for a while. And then finally, got to sleep around 3.30, 3.45, and then woke up around six, because everyone's been loading in. But, got the Corvette off the trailer with virtually no casualties at all. Like, didn't even scrape. So we used some wood Alan had which uh, picked the rear up to keep the middle from scraping. So I've just got to figure out where I'm putting my truck and trailer, where I'm sleeping. And since Forsberg and Turk and stuff are going to be here in BC, like I don't think there's room for my truck, but there's room for my car. But uh, I don't know. But the car's off the trailer. I was a little stressed about that. And we're good there. All right, I have relocated pit spots. Um, I'm going to run over and get my car checked now. There's no back. It's too loud for you to hear me. Alan is uh, clearancing some stuff on his car. He's having a little bit of a rough issue in the front. I've got to screw the side skirt back in. It's like falling off and I really should lower my car some. It's a monster truck. It might, it might not be a bad idea to keep a monster truck for the first session in case I go off. Um, so I think I might do that just to prevent any damage and then lower it after I'm feeling a little confident. <sighs> All right, going to the driver's meeting now. And then we got like an hour till we drive. I'm not nervous. I'm like more stressed about my, my tow rig and my truck and if it's gonna make it back and all the little issues I found with it. Pray for me. All right, I christened the car with for today's event with the BC Racing sticker. Got the side skirts tightened back up. Uh, all in all, I think we're ready to go. I am a little sketched out about not having a handbrake just coming down the hill. I'm not going to be able to go really fast into the entry like everybody else is. Uh, so I just hope I don't hold anybody back. And nobody like, expects me to be flying down the hill and comes up on me and then ruins their whole run because they don't realize I have to go slow. And I'm sure I say we're going to go out there, we're going to take it easy, we're going to have fun. I'm going to drive Road Atlanta for the first time ever. I've wanted to do this for years. How hyped are you, Alan? I'm nervous. I know, I'm a little nervous too. Well, mainly because I've never really drifted the car, so. Yeah, well I don't have a handbrake, so it's like it evens out. Mm -hmm. I guess so, you're yeah. right. Pretty similar. We'll see what happens. Right. Wall. No, there's not. <laughs> there's like no walls. 
I mean, there's some. I guess. Ones. I shouldn't say that because then, yeah, never mind. Just we're done. session done uh, it felt really good it was a lot easier than I expected I think me and uh, Alan were psyching ourselves out for nothing the back S's are really fast like the little sections okay but then when you get down the hill it's fast I kind of like halfway tried it um, I think we might be able to get that it's just gonna be hard without a handbrake to like check up you know and if it snaps back I can go straight into a wall so it's kind of sketchy but overall feeling good so far I'm gonna hang out and get ready for the next session this is mine and Alan's pit situation Pretty legit. Take you guys around the track here in a minute after this next session there's just not a lot of time and i want to chill um but feeling really confident with the car i i was standing behind a pro-am car it's like a 500 horsepower ls frs and not tandeming but driving behind them and i the car this thing was keeping up like if i had more power this thing would rip so i think after the miata build once i kind of get bored of that this thing will be like a potential pro-am build if i completely change my mind on never doing pro-am and decide to do that i don't know i'm just rambling now but uh we got two more sessions and then I'll show you guys around the paddock and what's going on here and all that. Thanks for watching.
car walked the fronts up a little bit and almost pitched me into the grass, which that's what can happen on that turn going so fast into it. What is it? Hills? Mountains? Hills. Hills. You don't remember that? Grid life. No. You spend all your day at grid. Aaron loves hills. Just remember that. I love hills. You love hills. I think so. So they're launching water balloons from over there. They launched it up. It went way up. It landed. Is there another one? What? They're launching water balloons over there. Oh, shit. Hey, stop. He assumes that. Oh, he thought that I threw the water balloon at him and he starts spraying me. He's not giving me the heads up. We're going back to launching it. It's like a fucking rock. Yeah, like this looks like such a science, right? Oh, we have it down to it. It's like real life angry. Yeah, Matt, you gonna take your shirt off? Huh? I said you gonna take your shirt your off? Tank. Yeah, what's up? Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry! It was aimed at him. He was talking shit. No, no, so many fucking girls in my car. Oh! Too far! <laughs> Too far. To think it's, it, the track just shut down. It's gonna get crazy tonight. Right, Chelsea? We're safe for a minute. Right? It's gonna get crazy? Oh, yeah. It's about to get wild. Stop! <laughs> so I hit the top of the golf cart and sprayed me in the face. <laughs> yeah, Look at this steak and shake. This is like the fanciest steak and shake I've ever seen. There's the stage. That's like all the pit, which you can't even see because it's so dark. There's a bridge right there that I had to walk across to come over here. So nice showers. I'm so tired. So this is what good life's about. Working on cars down here to drive while there's a party going on up there. You see all that, those lights? That's a party. That's where all the not cool kids who aren't driving go, right Hachi? This is a very little production. 